and welcome back to The Vibe. Now it's time for Two Sus For Us. We will be talking about the Mayan civilization. Who were they? Where did they go? Were they even human? So let's talk some history. The earliest Maya settlements date back to around 1800 BC. Modern day Guatemala is around the area of where this used to be and it reached its peak of power and influence in around 6th century AD. And at one point the population may have actually gotten over 22 million people. Whoa. 22 million. That's a lot of people, especially for back in the day. So, the Maya possessed superior knowledge in mathematics and in astronomy. And they actually had such sophisticated mathematics that the astronomical cycles which they actually developed would have taken thousands of years of observation to complete. Sus, hey, sus, sus. Yes, that's exactly where I got this from. So, we don't actually know what happened to them. And some of our only main clues come from paintings on the wall, pottery, and a few writings in hieroglyphs that were eventually deciphered. But it's very hard to decipher what they've been writing because there's absolutely no, no direct, yeah, there's no surrounding a... language that mm -hmm. would even be close to this. They were thought to be a peaceful group of people, completely nonviolent, until this mural was discovered called the Bonham Pack Mural, which suddenly gave researchers this this kind of terrible light of them because it showed their um, leaders killing uh, people as form of sacrifice for the gods. Why would such advanced people have to sacrifice their own civilians to gods? They clearly had a huge understanding of the world. In fact, they even knew about planets that were yet to be discovered during that time. And yet they partook in these in these primitive Sacrifices would feel like they want to. Yeah, they, want they to would. Win. They so would they want, want to die. To sacrifice? They would. Yeah, I can't even talk right now exactly. I'm so scared. <laughs> so sus. <laughs> but I guess you feel like you're getting closer to God. You are the mm, chosen one per se. Okay, okay. In their eyes. Well, and that's why you check want to do that. This out. A yeah. lot of their pyramids were actually built on top of other pyramids. And then there's some theories that they actually started over to recalibrate their pyramids with the new lunar cycles oh. as they gained information. Well, I did hear that they had a calendar of like the universe <laughs> and that was, bless you. <laughs> so, 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 so sorry. <laughs> I think they know we're talking about I them. I know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Don't kill us! Uh, so, well, yeah. didn't so they, they have a calendar mm -hmm. and they it was said that the world was going to end and it didn't. So yep. how advanced or technologically advanced were they But that really? was the or end of the their calendar really year. End? What's but maybe we're, so we're not, alive. Do you know that for sure? Maybe our life is stuff. I mean, how do we know that whatever we're living now is real? What if it's or, like we're all living in this small little marble that's hmm, somewhere else uh, in some other what galaxy? What if it was I'm their thing? I'm real. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, it was Descartes who said, me. I think therefore I am, so she thinks therefore she is. Anyways, yes. that's not my point though. The point is maybe that, that um, it was the doomsday, mm -hmm. maybe it was referring to something that wasn't the end of the world. Maybe it was end of trees or the well, coral reef or something else. Mm. End, of, mm. end of... People that began in 1800 BC made pyramids that <laughs> calculated up until 2012. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Mm. One by one, in around 900 AD, their civilization started to collapse. One by one, as in the city. There were 40 cities, by the way. So one by one, each of those 40 cities started to kind of like shut down and they would all rush towards the center. And there's not really... Maybe it was just an earthquake. Well, so actually, some do believe that by the 9th century, the Maya had exhausted their environment around them to the point that it couldn't sustain exhausted, um, all so of their large population. Their own own world. And they just took over another spot and then it tried to be, it could repopulate. Be. And then, like you said, some people actually do believe that it could have been like a huge environmental catastrophe, whether that be drought or uh, earthquake. So I feel like the Mayans were just us, but in 1800. I was just about to what, say that. They left everything like as is. Well, obviously, if you're going to die, you're not going to take your things but there's with you. But no, there's no people. None of their buildings or temples had any damage marks. So it couldn't have technically been an earthquake. Hold on, wait. It couldn't have even been a, a war. <laughs> Otherwise, surely the, the buildings would have some kind of damage of like 
of spear marks or, or, or blood even or something mm -hmm. that that leaves behind evidence you know that something some even sort happened of so maybe yeah. those Mayans were just abducted and now they're in a different planet they're like do you think funny they, that you, you mentioned that just moved on to well, a different planet well let me tell you it's pretty interesting that throughout Mayan history a lot of the rulers claimed to be descended from the stars and certain planets mm -hmm. spooky and in fact there was one king let me butcher his name for you king Kinich Jinab Pakal of Palenque. I love that she is super so Indian. Indian. Yeah. So Indian. Palab Pakal. Pakal. Okay, well, he came to the throne when he was 12 years old, a child ruler. Oh, and, similar to Egyptians. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he ruled until he was 80. Living until 80 alone oh was a huge feat back then. That's like ancient. Wow. Ancient alien. Okay. So when he was buried, his sarcophagus actually shows him in a cockpit with an oxygen mask on his face, levers in his hand, pedals at his feet, and outside the cockpit is a flame showing some kind of exhaust. So, so for he created a plane? So for people who don't know much about space travel, he sure knew how to depict a rocket, didn't he? Uh, like a so spaceship. So maybe that's where dome. his body went. Space. So, no, let me Oof. tell you this. It's, it, again, it is very small-minded of us to think that we are the only things in this world. Mm -hmm. And whether or not aliens put this mm -hmm. in their minds that this is possible, maybe they or us. maybe he Ooh. was so, he was intelligent or had the imagination, because he was 12 years old when he became ruler, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, kids are lo a lot more imaginative. And I have a feeling, like, that doesn't change over the years. I think that kids have a but little bit more... But there was no such thing as any kind of a, uh, air travel at this time. Okay. Whether or not that they were aliens, I don't know about that. Maybe they I went think to they a different were. planet. I, I think, think they, they were. went to a different planet. Mm, I, I think, think they so. just went all together? I they think were like, so. They like left behind some us. randoms. Thank you so much for watching us ramble on and on about the Mayans, whether you believe it or not. I think it was, I don't think it's too sus for me. I believe that there's something much more. For once. For once. <laughs> I'm on the side of uh, not Finally, sus. season on ends and we've made Anita a believer. <laughs> Before season yes. one ended. Very nice. Um, <laughs> but now it's time for a little bit more real world news. Bollywood breakdown and washed out. And I have I have cousins who've married outside of, um, even, even people, even cousins who married other Indians. Their kids are just like 